Hi guys, so there's only one thing I love more than orcs, and that's orcs in space. And obviously, I also love my little homemade smoke machine, uh, which I can't sort of stop using. <laughs> obviously, I love using it for taking uh, still shots, as well as obviously video. A um, little bit of video coming out soon, where I'll show how I made this. Very simple, um, but yeah, very effective. So yeah, it's about five weeks ago, guys. I um, came across this sort of technique, or saw online, uh, about obviously priming uh, figures in black, then doing some dry brushing in grey and white, um, and then also using contrast speed paints or dipping inks or anything that's similar to these um, over the top to give obviously a great sort of look to your figures, nice and quick and easy. Um, I can't remember which video I first watched, but obviously they called it Slap Chop. Uh, but it was only recently, a few days ago, that I found out there's actually a guy called Rob over at the Honest Wargamer um, that came up with Slap Chop. Although for me, Slap Chop seems like it's in some sort of uh, weird and wonderful dubbed martial arts movie, kind of like this. So, I know this technique isn't new, um, obviously it's new to me because I only found out about it about five weeks ago and it may well be new to you as you've just found about it sort of today. Uh, but yeah, the technique has obviously been around for ages. Um, Dana Howell did something about three years ago uh, to do with underpainting, which is obviously what this is. Um, and obviously there's Grisale, I don't know if I said that right or not, um, but yeah, a technique that's hundreds of years old. So yeah, definitely not a new technique, um, but obviously the name Slapchop. Um, it's kind of new-ish, I guess. I know it's some sort of infomercial uh, in the States. Um, but I was recently on a Warhammer Facebook group and someone on there said that they wish they had had a YouTube channel because uh, they'd like to call this technique Razzle Dazzle. Uh, so just for you, although unfortunately I've got a memory like a sieve and I couldn't find the original post of where you put this. Um, but yeah, so, so this is to the chat that's on one of the Facebook Warhammer groups who wants this technique to be called Razzle Dazzle. So that's what I'm going to be calling this technique from now on. So good old razzle dazzle. Okay, enough waffling. <laughs> let's get into the video and um, yeah, have a look at my Orc Rocket Boy. Okay, let's go. So the Orc Kill Team was the first kill team that I actually made. Um, and that's why I kind of went for figures that I like the look of rather than figures that actually obviously made more sense using the game. Um, and that's why I haven't got a Rocket Boy. So we need to change that and that's what I'm going to make right now. Obviously, I haven't got uh, many of the bits left from the actual original set, so it's a case of going through my bits box and, well, seeing what I've got and what I can sort of kit bash into a good old Rocket Boy. Luckily, I do have quite a lot of Orc bits and pieces. Um, as I say, I do love Orcs, and when I first started this channel, they were sort of the first thing that I actually sort of brought and painted. Um, obviously, back then, I absolutely hated painting, um, so yeah, I don't really have many uh, painted figures. In fact, I did have one of my main one was called the Lonely Orc. Um, as the name implies, it was because I think it was the only one I actually painted. Um, and yeah, again, it was nowhere near the kind of painting that I do now. Um, I didn't enjoy the painting, and yeah, you could tell because um, they didn't look very good either. <laughs> so yeah, this guy is going to take a bit of uh, a bit of chopping up, um, just because obviously these arms and bits, well, they're not meant to go where obviously I'm putting them. Um, I do need to stop saying the word obviously. But if you want to have a fun, guys, do a little drinking game. Every time I say, obviously, have a shot. Um, but then again, maybe not, because I do say it quite a lot. Um, yeah, so obviously, <laughs> I said it again, I can't help it. Um, yeah, sticking the bits on. As you can see, there are quite a few gaps. So they will need fi um, filling. So good old green stuff. I do love this stuff. Um, Alright, doesn't matter how little amount you make, um, you always sort of cut off too much. Uh, so I've obviously got a little bit here, but even when I mix this up, it's still, well, far too much than I actually need. But um, never mind. Uh, we get the job done. So this stuff really is nice and easy to use. Obviously, it comes in the two colours. You mix it together. It turns green, which is kind of why I guess people call it green stuff. Uh, yeah, and then just fill it in the gaps. Uh, be better off kind of like wetting this. So I do sort of wet my fingers every now and then and wet the tool. 
um, just because otherwise this uh, green stuff does stick to everything which obviously in a way is kind of good because then it does adhere to whatever you're putting it on um, so yeah it's a case of just sort of pushing it in uh, the shoulder pad is going to go over this so it doesn't need to be too neat and as I am putting the shoulder pad straight over the green stuff without letting any of it dry I'm using super glue rather than the cement glue uh, just because obviously <laughs> I don't think the cement glue would work too well in this case and yeah do it for the other shoulder again the other shoulder is going to have a sort of pauldron uh, of some kind of sort of look over it um, so again doesn't need to be too neat underneath but I just wanted to fill the gap just to make sure that the um, well the arms don't snap off um, so yeah I'm just filling them in and then say just gluing on the uh, sort of shoulder pads again I'm using a variety of bits and pieces here this is obviously the fun about kit bashing uh, you really can go to town on adding well whatever you want to make the figure look uh, well however you like so for heads I have got a lot of normal orc heads but I like the idea of these ones from Cromlech uh, because obviously they're like army sort of ones and I like this chap but as you can see obviously the back of these heads um, well they have knobbly bits rather than holes so that means I've got to chop off the knobbly bit that was currently on my my orc although it looks like there's a little smiley face there where I've chopped it off <laughs> uh, but um, yeah obviously it doesn't take too much chopping glued that on obviously orcs they do love their dacker um, and it doesn't matter how much sort of stuff you put on one of these chaps Everyone will say, yeah, still not enough Dakar. So I thought I'd add one more little um, little rocket there. And there we go. So he's kind of like vaguely similar to how he should be, which is cool. Um, yeah, and now on to the fun bit of the painting. So I've got him attached to my uh, my little painting handle that I 3D printed with my Any Cubic Cobra. And yeah, obviously the first stage of this, well, now called Razzle Dazzle, um, Prime in Black. <laughs> Whether or not this Razzle Dazzle will take off, who knows? But I find it funnier saying razzle dazzle than uh, slap chop. Anyway, so yeah, doing the um, obviously dry brushing with grey. The grey that I've got has actually got a little tint of green to it, uh, which is obviously pretty cool because obviously my orc is going to be green. So having that tint, um, yeah, should work well. So I'm going to experiment and mess about with a lot more different sort of uh, the underbrushing colours. Um, I know that obviously the technique primarily is sort of grey with white, uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun to sort of do some different colours underneath just to sort of see how they react with the well the contrast colors that go over the top so yeah definitely going to try a few different sort of things out yeah and obviously dry brushing them with white um, again ev everyone's going to have a different preference on how much they want to do uh, whether you sort of really cover it in lots or a little uh, but one thing I, I normally find out when I do dry brush it when you let it dry it does go a lot lighter than it first looks so sometimes I give it a second coat of dry brushing so I've got all the paints ready that I'm going to use to, well, obviously paint this chap. Um, I like to sort of get the ones that I'm going to use all in sort of one group, just so I can see if, well, if I think they're going to work well with the other sort of colours, or if I need to change them out. And as you can see, I'm using a bit of all sorts here. Contrast paints, speed paints, dip-in paints, and, well, normal paints. So we're going to start off with this one. Um, the reason for going for this green, obviously this is going to be the green for the, uh, the main chap, um, and that's because, well, I painted the rest of the um, the Orc Commandos in this colour. So obviously I want him to match the others. So that's why this is the green um, I'm using. Plus I do like this green. Um, I mean, I like all kinds of coloured greens for Orcs. Um, I've even seen some blue Orcs, which I really like. Um, I've not done any blue Orcs myself. Um, because I say, I, I think I do prefer the green. Um, but yeah, the blue didn't look too bad. So yeah, it's great. These contrast paints. I mean, this contrast paint I've had... For nearly a couple of years um, so it's still going pretty strong um, still nice and translucent so you can see everything underneath and yeah really goes on rather well so as I say I'm using a bit, a bit of a variety here from uh, contrast speeds and dipping inks um, obviously there are other sort of variations out there um, I'm looking at getting the Vallejo sort of set soon hopefully um, and giving them a go and ideally I want to try and do a sort of side-by-side -side comparison um, not only obviously how the colors look over this sort of this uh, razzle dazzle slap chop whatever you want to call it technique um, but also to see how I find them as in some are sort of thicker paints some are a bit more watery um, and yeah just sort of give a general overview of well how I get on uh, because obviously guys by no means am I a good painter great painter I am definitely your average painter at best um, so yeah I would take everything I sort of say with a pinch of salt um, and try things for yourself uh, so yes yeah, so none of these sort of videos that I do are I don't want to call, they're definitely not like tutorials 
this is just how I paint and what I've learned and seen um, obviously this online because obviously we all paint differently uh, we all have different styles and we all have different sort of how we like the model to look I like mine to look a little bit rough and ready um, and definitely sort of battle worn which is why I love the contrast paints and obviously this uh, the underpainting as it does give them quite a sort of a harsh look uh, which is say which is the kind of style that I like um, I know some people like to do sort of more sort of solid colors and build up layers which is awesome um, and I say yeah, that's where we're all different and we kind of like do what we like um, and yeah this is definitely what I like and talking of like it'd be great guys if you could hit that thumbs up button um, leave comments down below and share if possible as all of these things really do help this channel out um, obviously help make it grow and get seen by more and more people which is pretty awesome um, and yeah much appreciated if you can hit that thumbs up guys the other way you can help uh, support the channel is to use any of my affiliate links down below uh, obviously these don't cost you anything but every time you use one of the affiliate links I get a couple of pence from it which is pretty cool and you can also become a patron uh, just like these guys that are scrolling off your screen now uh, these guys help support the channel and they also get access to see sort of pictures and videos uh, of what I'm basically working on before it comes out onto YouTube as well as having an input in what I actually do. Also a big shout out and thank you to my sponsors, Any Cubic, as well as Easy Roll of Dice. And there are links in the description to all their products as well. So many thanks to them. Yes, yeah, so again back to this chap. I say nice and easy to paint. Um, so this sort of style of painting really is up my street because it's so nice, so quick, so easy. Um, I really enjoy the process. Um, and yeah, I really uh, obviously love how it looks at the end. So there are some paints, obviously, that I'm using that aren't sort of speed paints, contrast paints, all that kind of stuff. Um, so these ones, um, generally the silver, and in this case, it's sort of a cream that I'm doing on all the um, sort of bits and pieces on him. Um, they will have a wash over them afterwards. Um, again, because otherwise they look kind of too neat and too precise. So a good old uh, light brown wash is what I sort of generally go for. Um, and yeah, that just helps dirty up and make them look a bit more grimier, which is pretty cool. So guys, as I really am enjoying painting so much more now uh, than I did sort of, well, even a year ago, I kind of hated painting. Um, I'm going to be painting a lot more figures. Um, and obviously this month is October. So yeah, there could be quite a lot of orc figures coming. Um, yeah, so let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see me sort of paint up. Whether it's um, little miniatures like this, or dioramas, terrain, or well, anything really. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you'd like to see me do. Or if there's anything you want me to sort of like try out or do differently in the videos. Again, let me know. Um, I do read all the comments. And where possible, I always respond to all the comments. Um, unless it's a video that's like a week or two old. Uh, because then obviously I don't really get the notifications as much as the ones that are sort of a day or two old. So yeah, let me know what you want to see guys. Because I am going to be doing a lot more painting. And say this month you will see quite a lot of orcs. Um, just because I love these chaps. And yeah, it's October. So let's celebrate that. So I'm nearly done with this guy now. Um, got to do the, the checkered sort of look or pattern on the rockets. And I'm going to obviously paint the things white first. Just to obviously use that as the, well, they're going to be white and black. So I might as well do white first. And then for the black, um, because I, I've got a steady hand, but my, uh, my eyesight obviously isn't the best. Wear glasses and all that. Um, I have tried using magnifying glasses, um, but couldn't get on with them. So yeah, as good as I can, or steady as I can be with my hands, um, say my eyesight sort of lets it down a little bit. So I'm going to cheat a little bit when I come to do the, the checkered sort of pattern on these. Um, and that is, I'm going to use a very fine pen, um, just as obviously that's a whole lot easier. Obviously you need to wet, let the, uh, the white dry first. Um, but yeah, so using this very fine pen, I think this one's a, a point three. Um, I did have finer ones, but I can't seem to find them. Otherwise I would have used the finer ones. And yeah, with the pen, it's um, a, a lot simpler to draw a line on with that rather than try and do this uh, with a paintbrush. Um, I say just because steady hand, but um, yeah, sometimes I have to hold these figures pretty close to my face to uh, to paint them. Uh, which is why sometimes when I'm videoing me painting these, it can be a challenge to try and get it so you guys can see what I'm doing um, without obviously me getting my head well in the way basically. Uh, so yeah, once the other uh, pattern's sort of there, it's easy enough just to go around and fill in, uh, obviously, alternate squares uh, black. Which, uh, using the pen, is pretty easy, which is cool. Although at the very end, I do actually sort of go over and tidy up a little bit 
with uh, some white paint. Uh, but not too much. I say this is a lot easier and quicker for me to do rather than trying to paint this. So yeah, there we go. The last thing to do is just to add the wash. Um, just say over the areas that aren't sort of the contrast or dipping ink, speed paints, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, use a bit of a wash just because otherwise the silver bits I've done and obviously the cream sort of bits I've done um, obviously look too new <laughs> and don't really have any kind of shading at all. So yeah, my go-to is the sort of the light sort of soft brown um, look for the, for the wash. I have used blacks before, but I kind of found the blacks too harsh. Even though I was saying earlier, I do like my figures to look like they were, uh, they were battle worn. Uh, the black I didn't really get on with. So yeah, I like to use the uh, the soft brown wash. And yeah, that's about it now. He's, um, yeah, tabletop ready. I'm certainly going to be uh, pleased to use him with my Orc Commandos. Um, as I was using a different guy as my Rocket Boy. Um, even though the guy that I was using, well, didn't have any rockets on him. Um, I just put a little sticker on him just to let my mate know that he was my Rocket Boy. But um, yeah, now I have got, well, a rocket boy. <laughs> I can't keep saying that enough. So yeah, there we go, guys. There's my razzle-dazzle um, style. Um, I'm kind of thinking the razzle-dazzle won't catch on. So it will be known as slap chop. But you never know. It's down to you guys. Can you make this a razzle-dazzle painting technique? Let's see. So yeah, last thing to do, obviously, well, I always say last thing to do, there's always something else to do. I cut them off the base and then stick them on a nice clear base. So I get all my bases from Fluid 3D Workshop. There's a link in the description, guys. They do a whole variety of sizes and thicknesses, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, as you all know, I do prefer clear bases to making bases, just because I want to see the terrain underneath. And there we go, job done. Stick a fork in me and all that. And there's my Orc Rocket Boy, all ready for the um, well, the Commandos Kill Team. It's pretty cool. Okay, guys, don't forget to leave comments, hit the thumbs up button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, you guys take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.